What's going on guys, Josh Fogok here, and we recently covered a lot of different AI IDEs on this channel. We've covered Cursor many different times. We recently covered Windsurf by Codium, and this is a new AI IDE that is really, really good in my opinion. Check out the last video I made on Windsurf so you can learn more about it. I'll leave a link down below. And we've covered other ones too. We've covered Pair AI, we've covered Zed. There's so many different IDEs spawning up and this is really getting into the AI IDE war or race right now to become the best AI pair programmer. Now, a couple of downsides with Windsurf and Cursor is they are not open source. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at an open source AI native IDE called AID, powered by the state of the art agentic framework on WSE Bench Lite. I'm gonna show you how you can get it set up and we're gonna test it out and see what its capabilities are made of. Let's dive right into it. All right, guys, so here is the aid website. All links that I talk about in today's video will be linked down below. So we can see here, it's very simple to actually download and get set up. You can simply download the Windows version right here. I'm looking for different platforms. So they have Mac OS right here, as well as Linux. So very easy to get set up and installed. There's a little video right here showing some different examples of how to use it. So aid is a proactive agent. It proactively proposes fixes or asks to include files that may be missing in the context. They say our agent can do so by iterating on linter errors and pulling in relevant context using LSP tools like go to references. What if LLMs could make edits across multiple files without breaking the logic? After a month of hacking, we tested our framework against WSE Bench Lite and kind of shockingly became the SOTA resolving 43% of issues. So if we click here to WSE Bench and look at the leaderboard right here, we can see Code Story, which is the creators of AID, mixed models right here, 43% resolved. Above Open Hands, uh, Code Act right here, above all these other ones, Byte Dance, Super Coder. So pretty impressive. All right, so you can check out their Discord down here, but let's go ahead and actually check out their repo right now. All right, so to sum everything up, it has a combined chat and edit flow, proactive agents, inline editing widget, and then intelligent code completion, and then AST navigation. Okay, so let's actually dive into aid. All right, so this is what the editor looks like. If I didn't mention this already, this is another fork of VS Code. So it's the same thing as Cursor, same thing as Windsurf, same thing as Pair AI, same thing as Void, all forks of VS Code. Um, as you can see here, you got all the VS Code stuff. Everything's pretty... Um, similar, you're going to want to create an account um, up here. So see, I'm logged in. I believe if you click up here when you first open up aid, it will allow you to create a free account. You can either create one with your email or sign in with GitHub. Once you do that, all right, and this is Code Story. This is the team behind aid. All right, you can check it out. I'll leave a link down below. All right, so if you go ahead and click on Control Shift and then P, you'll be able to search for models right here. So you can go to Model Selection, okay? Then you'll be able to select either Copilot Model or Chat Model. Let's say we selected our Copilot Model right here. Then you can change the Copilot Model to either be Pretty much whatever model you want so 01 mini reasoning 01 preview reasoning gpt 40 claude sonnet whatever you really want as well as local models and i'll show you how you can actually set up all these models in just a second so i'll leave a link to their docs down below so you can check this out just so you know the copilot model is the one that is used for tab autocomplete and then the chat is the interactive so this is used for interacting with the editor either via the inline chat or the sidebar chat all right to go ahead and actually set up your providers you can go ahead and click on Control shift and then comma that's going to open up your model selection right here so you can see different models right here, a one mini reasoning, all your different models right here. And then you can see um, your providers. And this is where you're going to want to configure certain ones. So code story that that one doesn't require any configurations. That's their model. So then you have open AI, Azure, together AI, um, open AI compatible ones. All right. So you can put like a bunch of different ones there. Olama right here, uh, Anthropic, Fireworks AI open router gemini pro so a lot of different model options which is really nice this is something that um you know windsurf doesn't have cursor doesn't have 
um, as well as this being open source and it giving you all these different provider options um, it is that that's kind of the edge that I would see with aid uh, as of now there are some features just to be honest that aren't up to par with you know something like windsurf or cursor like you know their cursor composer i would say or the windsurf cascade which you know those two features are just really really good but um you know like i said this is an open source project this is you know uh definitely not as popular of a project so um if it you know starts to you know gain traction or get developed even more then we could of course see some better features in the future. Are you tired of pouring thousands of dollars into appointment setters only to watch leads slip away? Imagine having a team of elite sales agents booking qualified appointments for you around the clock. No more wasted time on training, no more frustration with performance, and no more draining your budget on inconsistent and expensive call centers. Introducing Stride Agents, AI-powered appointment setters that work 24 seven, never get tired and book appointments while you sleep. Trained on thousands of successful conversations, our AI agents outperform human teams at just one-tenth of the cost. Join the ranks of businesses that doubled their appointments and booking rates in just a matter of weeks. Don't get left behind in the AI revolution. Visit strideagents.com now and transform your entire sales process with cutting-edge AI technology. It's time to accelerate your stride with AI agents. So you're going to want to go ahead and click on edit here and add your API keys for your specific provider. So of course, before you start using it so i'm going to go ahead and do so and you can also switch your co-pilot model right here so you could choose like deep seat coder or your chat model right here so you could do claude sonnet for example um you could do you know really anything you want for these two models right here now you'll also see here too if you click on some of these models right here you'll be able to change the provider like some of them you won't be able to change it because it's you know open ai for example but here, GPT-4, it could be Code Story, or it could be OpenAI, or Azure, or Open Router. So you have different options there. You have the context length right here and the temperature that you could play around with. Okay, so currently I just have this blank Next.js project um, loaded up right now. Let's go ahead and use Aid to do some adjustments to it. So before I get into that, I'll just quickly show you um, what we got over here. So if I click the at symbol, you can at the code right here so we could add specific things in the code like a diff you know zero zero whatever you know whatever area of the code base specifically you could add or we could do a specific file like if i go to file here we could put at global.css now i will say there isn't as many options that we can see here as something like cursor or windsurf like i said this is still uh, a smaller project um you know it's still being developed and whatnot so all right so i'm saying please help me with my next.js app i want to create a very modern finance tracking app using shad cn ui make it have multiple cool features and also have light mode and dark mode and a nice landing page with no authentication to see the dashboard okay so if you click control or en and enter or you just click this button you're going to chat uh if you hit click enter then you're going to edit so let's click enter Oh, I added the global CSS by accident. So you can see the attachment there doing some shad CN stuff here and it's running this command. So we can see right here in the review plan, update global CSS to include shad CN UI theme. And we can see that it's editing. So this is really cool. Okay. First off, I really like how it has this streaming functionality. This is similar to like how, um, how Klein looks kind of when it's editing as well as how cursor looks. Um, this is something that's, um, that windsurf doesn't have it just actually just import ports all the code over so we can see here that this is basically like their composer feature the edit all right so as we can see here we have a review plan we have step one step two so create a base layout with theme provider uh step three create theme provider component right here then create toggle component create site header component create landing page so currently we have a bunch of issues over here of course as it's editing but hopefully it should resolve these once it's done creating the card component step seven we can see all the different references it's using over here at in our context and so far let me just say this is actually a lot better than i expected and this is pretty powerful okay so there was some syntax errors now it is going to start fixing these so first thing we need to accept edits or reject edits so i'm just going to accept them now we can see checkpoint made before edits so that's really nice that allows us to revert back to these this checkpoint if needed this is exactly how windsurf and 
cursor works. Now we can see here that it's we're gonna need to install the next theme and Lucid and right Radix. So um, let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so if you do Control D, you can also see the details. So you can see update global .g, uh, CSS with proper ShadCN theme configuration, um, fix syntax error. So you can see that happening. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest. I've been running into a lot of issues with this IDE. For example, like I've been playing around with it and one has been glitchy a lot. It's been logging me in and out. Um, you know, I've been creating, you know, issues and not working. And now it even started, I was, I was creating some components and I'm looking in the components file and I can't find it. Well, for some reason, somehow, um, it created the components file and the app file in my local disk directory at at the root so I really don't even know how it got doing that so that's an issue all right guys so I finally got it to kind of work you know one issue that I have also seen with other IDEs or pair programmers is something with Shad C Sad CN um, you know the old version of Sad Shad CN was installed a certain way now it's a new version and since it's an AI model a lot of you know it's running on the old dog so that's really nothing to do with the IDE uh, specifically um, so I had to just do that manually and then also too though I was noted like I do notice some few bugs at least maybe that's me maybe, Let me know if you guys notice so many uh, bugs as well, but it kept signing me out uh, Of the of aid IDE and I kept having to sign back in which was kind of annoying Like it would sign like it would sign me out and say that I've hit my maximum amount of free um, queries so and then I'd have to sign back in so few bugs that are kind of annoying but anyways here is what it looks like we got the landing page we got the dashboard here with some some shad cn components as we can see here transactions budget analytics etc it's definitely not perfect by any means you know not a, there's only a couple pages um obviously you could optimize this and whatnot um and it you know it's decent for you know a few prompts um like i said it did take me some troubleshooting definitely wasn't as clean as something like windsurf or cursor but at the same time guys this is still a smaller project for sure it only has about 500 stars on github right now um and you know it does definitely have some potential you know i do like their kind of composer alternative i like how it works I personally was just experiencing some bugs. Maybe that's just me, but I personally was experiencing those bugs and it was kind of annoying if they could fix those bugs and get it to work a little bit better and, you know, just work better in general, then I think this could definitely have a lot of potential. Like I said, it's a smaller project, so maybe if they got some hype around it, actually started, you know, putting, um, maybe building more of a team, getting, you know, putting some more work into it. However, they want to grow this project, right? I think it could have some potential and it is too also open a more open source project i think they do have a some sort of hosted version or whatnot but it's from what i can see it's pretty much open source um they say it's open source so that is something that's kind of a benefit added benefit opposed from you know cursor or uh, windsurf let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below got about this tool guys i have seen people say that they really do like this tool i haven't seen too many people actually like make videos on this tool i haven't really seen anyone so I wanted to make this video share it with you guys just because I think it could be a potential up and comer. I don't think it's on the same level right now as something like Windsurf or Cursor in terms of using it day to day. I personally would stick to Windsurf or Cursor, but I think this is definitely something to keep an eye on. And if they do make some improvements to this project, then um, it could definitely be a contender in the AI IDE race. But let me know what your thoughts are once again down below. If you've used this tool, if you like it, if you don't, maybe you weren't experiencing some of the issues I was. Uh, or maybe you were, right? So other than that, guys, if you're new to the channel, we upload videos all the time on AI, marketing, sales, business growth. So if you like that type of content, you got some value here, make sure to like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to stay up to date with the uploads. Also too, guys, if you haven't already joined our free community, stridecommunity.com, I'll leave a link down below to our free Facebook group and Discord channel. And then also too, guys, if you run a business, you need help with systems, marketing, CRM optimization, implementing AI, AI appointment setters, AI call center into your business to accelerate your stride, Book a call down below at executivestride.com forward slash apply. Other than that, guys, I will see you in the next video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.